Good morning everyone. Today our team is presenting the problem statement Embedded Intelligent Microscopy System for Identification and Counting of Microscopic Marine Organisms proposed by the Ministry of Earth Sciences under the Center for Marine Living Resources and Ecology. This project aims to develop an AI-powered embedded microscopy system that can identify and count microscopic marine organisms automatically. These organisms like phytoplankton and zooplankton are extremely important since they form the foundation of marine ecosystems, drive oxygen product production, and even influence global climate patterns. Talking about the background and problem, traditionally the process of analyzing marine biodiversity involves trained experts manually absorbing uh, plankton samples under microscopes. This is very time consuming, tedious, expensive and often subjective. For, a, uh, for example, even a single drop of seawater can uh, often contain thousands of organisms and manually counting them will take a very long time in which uh, varies be, uh, between uh, the researchers and the human observations. They are very prone to errors and this slow downs the uh, mm. biodiversity assi assessments and limits the ability to monitor large regions of the ocean effectively. Automating this process will not only save time but provide consistent and accurate results. Talking about the technical challenge, the challenge here is not just identification but doing so on embedded hardware. With limited computational power, microscopic images brings its own difficulties such as overlapping image organisms, different shapes and sizes, varying transparency, poor lighting conditions and noise in the captured images. Our system must overcome these hurdles to correctly recognize and count organisms. Additionally, since this is meant for field deployment, the system should be portable, energy efficient, and able to process data in real time without relying on cloud servers. Achieving all this in one compact embedded device makes it a demanding but a very exciting challenge. Proposed solution. Our proposed solution is to develop lightweight deep learning models specifically optimized for embedded platforms like NVIDIA Jetson Nano, Raspberry Pi with Coral Edge TPU, or ARM based processors. These models will be trained to classify organi organisms at the genus or species level and count the number of individuals in a sample image. The embedded device will include a camera module integrated with a digital microscope. Once an image is captured, it will pass through pre-processing stages like contrast adjustment, noise reduction and segmentation. Then our AI model will classify each organism, count them and show the result in onboard memory. Finally, a dashboard interface will display real-time data such as organism type and density directly to marine researchers. To test and train the system, we plan to use publicly available datasets like EWAG, Zoo Lake, Xenoplankton dataset and deep learning classification of zooplankton. Together these datasets provide tens of thousands of labeled images of marine organisms under varied conditions, making them ideal for building a robust model. Our implementation workflow involves data preprocessing, data augmentation, model training, on-device integration. This approach ensures the system works both in labs and directly in the field of sampling sites. Impact and Conclusion The impact of this solution goes far beyond automation. By eliminating manual counting, researchers can analyze more samples in less time, enabling large-scale marine biodiversity assessment. The data generated will help the track the ecological changes, monitor the effect of the climate change, and even support the sustainable fishing by understanding the plankton population trends. Since the plankton are the base of the marine food chains and responsible for producing nearly half the oxygen of earth, monitoring them effectively is critical for both marine and human survival. The project is perfect example of how smart automation and AI can directly contribute to the environment, sustainability and scientific advancement. Thank you.